Okay, it appears the liveliness we are. We are live. I think. Hopefully. Let's see. I'm trying to get everything set up here, guys. Give me a minute. I think we're good now. I think we're good. Alrighty. Of course, many of y'all. Oh, what's up? I was fast. I was really, really fast. I'm sure many of y'all, um... Oh, man! I've never clicked so fast. Yeah, y'all are just... Thank you. Um, I'm sure many of y'all do understand or do know, uh, based off this title, uh, we're gonna be doing an unboxing today. I can show y'all reptiles later in the video. Uh, let's get this unboxing through first, and then we'll show you some of the animals if y'all, if y'all choose to. So, let's just get a few more people on here. We got one like already. Daily C, what is up? Man, y'all are just, y'all are hopping on. I was insane. So, as I said, oh, we're going to be doing an unboxing. Yeah, hashtag notification squad here. Um, we're going to be doing an unboxing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are coming in fast, guys. Froggy Frog here. Let's go. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing an unboxing. And I'm going to wait just a few more minutes till um get on Xbox after. Uh, I won't be able to. I got some stuff to do. Um, uh, it shows that I'm on, but I'm idle right now. Um... I was going to say, oh my goodness, I'm going, I'm going blank here. Oh yeah, I'm going to give it a few minutes to see if anybody else is going to hop on before we continue with the unboxing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, play Fortnite. I won't be able to, um, unfortunately, maybe in a bit. Although that's another good idea for those of y'all who may have an Xbox. I don't really play on PC uh, or anything like that. But if y'all do have an Xbox, maybe we can all do, you know, like a subscriber. You know, y'all can play with us on... Fortnite, although Fortnite's kind of dying on me, guys. Seriously, I don't know. I don't know about Fortnite anymore. But we'll let a few more people get on. Um, give it a second. I have an Xbox Hello. Alright, um, maybe at the end of the stream you can put your gamer tag in if you want. You may not be comfortable with that. It's up to you. We can play. All of us can play. I don't know. For now, though, let's get on with the toys. Um, let's get a few more people in. Can we? Can y'all think? Y'all think we can do that? Y'all have any friends, family? You think we can get more people in or? Or should we start here? What do y'all think? Because y'all just spammed in, guys. Like, seriously. Oh, man. So, as I said, we'll do some of the unboxing and the figures that I'm going to be showing you guys today. This isn't really... I know a lot of y'all come for the reptile side of my YouTube channel. And then there's some of y'all for the action figure side. So, hopefully, those of y'all... You know, the title will uh, get y'all on, get some of the action figure people on, because we're doing a toy video, and toy videos don't come that often, so maybe we can get some more people, you know, because those are my two main, you know, things, toys and, toys and toads, no, but reptiles and then toys. I'm from every side of the planet, M8. <laughs> okay, oof. Let's see, um, so first we'll start off with some of our pre-unboxed figures that have been unboxed for a while and then we'll go to the two new ones that have not been unboxed yet is that why you play minecraft all the time yeah and minecraft guys that's just my game i love that game so much for some reason not trying to sound like one of those 10 year old squeakers but i love that game i really do um fortnite's pretty fun but it's just they haven't they need to change some things i guess like a new map would make it awesome seven people apparently uh hello everybody else um, give it a few more minutes, and then we'll start. I can play multiplayer with you. Oh, that works. Raylan Whitehouse, hello. Um, let's see. Hi. We got a lot of people on. Six people. Give it a sec. Give it a sec, and then we'll continue with the unboxing. I have a Minecraft on Xbox One and 360. I have a 360, but it's put up. Matt Decker, hello. Hello. Thank you for joining the stream. Let's get this chat busy, guys. Let's see, let's see. John Martinez, cat emoji. Let's see. Hello, hello. All right, uh, at five minute mark, we'll start with the unboxing. Gucci's behind you guys, so watch your back. Take a quick look behind y'all. Make sure she's not about to eat you, cause. Oh, speaking of which, wait, wait actually, I'll show, I'll show, show y'all her new little hide and just some some new things in a little bit. Although I did, I did record a video that also will be might be going up in a uh, in a couple of days or something uh, of going to another reptile store. Y'all see that later. Don't want to give y'all too much inside information. 
But those of y'all who do join the stream, y'all will get more information than just, you know, people who don't join the streams. Because, you know, of course, that just shows that y'all are willing to sit down with me. And, oh my gosh, I'm doing this. I'm doing this, guys. I'm doing this. Look at this. Hold on, let me just turn the camera around here. I'm doing this and she's already right here. Like, literally, she's right here, ready to eat me. Oh my gosh, she tries to sneak up on me. Hi, what's up, King Serpents? Can we see the Crested Geckos? Um, after the unboxing, we'll get into some of the reptiles and stuff like that. Gucci, yeah, Gucci galore, man. I love that toad. She's everything. Froggy Frog, okay. Uh, Raylan Whitehouse, LOL. Alright, Unshamed Gamers, hi. Gosh, guys, gosh. Uh, long time no see. Yeah, really, really. Now, yeah, run off, Gucci. Yeah, go. Go, Gucci. Go. Yeah, um... All right, I guess we'll begin, you know. So the first thing we got that I'm about to pull out, you know, I love the military, and I love learning about things like that. But then, well, I don't know if y'all have heard of Elite Force figures. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. So they've got several different types of figures. We'll get into that in a second. Nice hairline. Oh, well, yeah, it's kind of just like whatever. Um, we've got, <laughs> I'm not a girl. I don't really care about that. Um, yes, Savage, okay, um, so, Elite Force figures, they're pretty cool, they're really well detailed for the most part, um, they've got lots, lots of aspects you can do with them, there's lots of things you can do with them, um, they're really neat little, really neat figures, and I thought they stopped selling them because they're cool to collect and they're cool to just have, I thought they stopped selling them, I seriously, I don't know what happened, but, um, lucky for us, me and my dad, or my dad was out at, Target or something like that, and uh, he saw like two packs of brand new ones. Gucci's coming over again, brand new ones that we hadn't seen before, and um, and they're pretty cool. So it's a pack of seals, which some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not. I want to be a U.S. Navy seal in the future, along with a herpetologist, but that's all for later. Um, and so this pack's just one of the coolest packs, honestly. This pack's so cool. So we'll start off um with. Uh, actually, wait a second. I think I might have a spare. Give me one second to go find a spare so we can, so I can show y'all a spare. So y'all can talk to each other in the chat. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what we missed. Fortunately, I could not. Uh, hi, people. Let's talk. Message retracting. Okay, hey. Panda lover, you changed your name already. What the heck? Unfortunately, I cannot find the spare pack. Um, so we'll just continue from here. Um, so our first figure. Uh, they don't really have names, so, you know, I mean, you can't. I like, don't have. A, we'll get them all lined up. How about that? This guy's going to be a little bit harder to do because he's got this big old uh, halo jump outfit okay so i don't know what halo jump is high altitude low opening it's a type of jump the military uses especially to get in more covert let's see if we can get him so oh, okay i'm gonna take his helmet off for a second so as you see he's got this massive parachute here okay he's got this huge parachute and this is kind of a bug it's kind of a bother because it covers his eyes it, it it's like kind of annoying how it does that but um but I do like because it hooks on on the sides here in case you want to take it off or if you want to keep it on. It hooks on. Obviously, the parachute does not actually open. Um, I think my brother had some of those before. Oh, well. Yeah, probably. These are really nice figures, whether you're playing with them or to collect. See, this guy's going to have a really hard time standing. I don't even know if we'll be able to get him to stand. Let's see. Hold on. Maybe. 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 Hold on. Let's see. 
You think I can do it, guys? You think I can do it? Got him. Yes. Um, here's his helmet here. Uh, I think it's really cool how it has, like, the night vision goggles. And let's just see if we can just... just... Oh, I don't want him to knock over. Guys, I don't want him to knock over. There we go. We'll just... So, as you can tell... And then the next guy, uh, he's probably more like a scout. Uh, he, they do come with, two of them have like, um, like a, some sort of assault rifle or sniper rifle right here. Uh, they both have the same gun right there. The other guy that usually has one of those guns is also wearing, let's see if we can get y'all set up. Oof! Yep, lol. Um. As you see, these guys are both very similar. Uh, the only thing different is his pants pretty much are a different color. His vest is different. Um, but they've got, you know, fairly similar, fa uh, fairly similar, ah! Uh, a pretty similar uh, camouflage. Reminds me of Call of Duty XD. It is kind of like that, isn't it? Um, let's see. Now we're going to get another guy. He's got, they've, we've got three guys with a similar camouflage, different vest. Him. So there's five in a pack in this pack. Here, we're going to scooch these guys out of the way. Let's, let's see. There we go. Oh, no. Guys, this isn't wanting to, this isn't wanting to stand, is it, guys? Let's see if we can get this. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. Let's see. These guys are so annoying sometimes. Because this is a flat surface, too. This is a very flat surface. But I can do it. There we go. And let's see if we can find room for this guy. Let me see. This guy's helmet's definitely the coolest. I don't know if y'all can see, but I love, like, the goggles that he has on. Let's see. There we go. All three of them right here, uh, they're all wearing the same camouflage, pretty much. Just different gear overall. Their guns, two of them have M249s, uh, light machine guns right here. There's two of them with the M249s right here, so we'll set those off to the side. The one with like a uh, M4, correct me if I'm wrong, with a grenade launcher on the bottom. It looks like a grenade launcher or it could be a shotgun attachment. I'm pretty sure it's a grenade launcher. Um, but otherwise, I'm not sure exactly what this little peg at the bottom is for. But this is this is really cool. This is These are really cool little figures, guys. And the detail is just so fine on them, as you can see. Like, just if we get a close-up, like right there. Like his vest, like you can see... Almost as if they did each individual bullet. So, let's just set these guys off to the side. Um, I, hopefully they'll bring more of those out. Gotta go, sorry, oof. It's okay, Fabi Fog. Uh, thanks for joining anyways. Yeah, oh wait. My, oh my gosh, MA wants a friend to join a chat with me. We are working on a collab. Alright, peace. Uh, how many guys have you, how many of y'all are still here, by the way? Might I, might I ask? I'm back, alright, alright. So, now that we got these guys out of the way... Uh, hopefully they'll bring more of those back. Hopefully those won't be a one-time thing. That'd be very unfortunate. Um, a new sort of figure that's been coming out lately. Um, uh, not very, not many people heard about them. They're pretty cool. Very cool collector figures. Um, are, they're called Tricky Men. Or at least that's either, they're called Tricky Men or that's who they're by. A figure-based Tricky Men. So if you want to find some of these guys, look up figure-based Tricky Men. This other guy, I'm gonna try to get him to stand up, because... So, as you can see, let me just cover right there. <laughs> as you can see, uh, these guys have a pretty nice detail. They're kind of like, they've just, they're, they're a different, I guess, take, if you will. Um, if we turn them around, as you can see, another M249 with a suppressor, it appears. This guy, he doesn't have anything right now. Um, but as you can see, they, they, they're they really cool. And even, one of the, like, the things that's just super duper awesome, and there's Gucci in the background. One of the things that's just super duper awesome about them is um, their night vision goggles, which I, uh, I'm i not exactly sure yet, but I do know that their night vision goggles light up, as you can see, like with a little light right there. But they're just in, they have such great detail on them. Um, like the, from the knee pads, from each little checker design, from the American flag on the side, uh, just everything is so detailed on them. And, and another thing that's cool is you can put different attachments, give them different weapons. Um, they've only got four out currently. They're brand new. They're about 50 bucks a figure, which is really, really odd. But they are um, brand new out. And there's about four out, I believe. And then there's th shots fired, yeah. And then they're, I think, coming out with a little bird, which is a type of helicopter, which is just going to be so awesome to do a video on, guys. We'll definitely try to get a live stream or a video on the little bird. 
So, like, you can tell he's got the radio down. The, M24, the M249 has just got awesome detail. Unload on the thoughts. Oh, my goodness. Me, me, I am. All right, sorry, guys. I wasn't reading the chat. Um, But pretty great detail. Another cool thing is their stands are actually magnetic, I believe. So in case you have some sort of case that, you know, you can you can uh, help keep them, keep them propped up better with a magnetic stand, which is just really cool. So those are the unboxed ones. Let's just move these guys over here. Now, these are the two newer ones right here. Let me just let's see. So here and here, um, I'll probably just unbox them. I won't get all the attachments on because they take a they're a little bit weird on getting the attachments on. We'll start off with this one. So this one right here, this is another. He's a, he's the point man. So let's see. Let's just get a 360 view of the packaging here. That's really cool. So there he is. There you go. I will unbox him. The next ones are uh, Pilot. As you can see, he's got uh, like his gear. They're just so cool. They're, they're like, there he is. Let's see. There he is. Blazing Firestar. So, yeah. Our Pilot and then another, I guess, he's the Point Man. Not, uh, correct me if I'm incorrect. But, uh, so, they, these two go along with the other figures. So let's just, first we gotta get this tape off here, which this tape's always very annoying. Actually, luckily I have scissors at hand, so let's just not cut myself. This is a little bit weird because we can't cut the clips. Normally I would be cutting clips, but I'm not able to do that. Alright, so pretty simple packaging, nothing fancy. Let's see, one. This slides right out, something just, here's the empty box, we'll set this down. Here, let's see, here's the stand, uh, oh wow, oh wow, it comes with extra little uh, ball points, so you can, like, you know, to help them move, and uh, it comes with extra ones, I assume, the stand, and a little tiny little adorable patch that, I guess it's like, yeah, it's like a sticker, you can see the back end, your toy channel now, uh, yeah, I do both toys and reptiles, it's kind of, you know, a kind of a weird mixture, but, you know, that's just me, I guess. Okay, so our first pack, we got to be really careful to make sure we don't lose any of these pieces. We're not going to open them out from here just because there's so many pieces. But it appears there's a flare gun, uh, some sort of uh, submachine gun, and a type of pistol. Maybe a Glock. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, different hands for different, you know, in different styles. Um, just other little gears and pockets. You can see right through it. Whoa. Uh, smoke bombs and a flashbang uh, that are all here. Rip Toys R Us. Honestly, yes, Rip Toys R Us. Uh, so this is just, this is a really cool, it's got so many attachments. Oh, it's even got a little shooting spot right here where you can attach it to your gun. Next is the figure and his, himself and his vest. So just, uh, don't y'all just love that, like, new toy smell? I don't know if y'all ever recognize that, but... Let's see if we can tear this. Ignore that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so. Let's just. He's got this. It's got this, like, uh. That. that like, that preserver or whatever that weird stuff is. Well, look at his hair. What the heck? Alright, here's one. You just. Let's see. You just wiggle it in. Another weird thing is, I think, like, the back of their head. I think, yeah, like pops off what the heck but this is for like other equipment and like attachments and i believe for their helmet yes see right here i think is where like you can attach it onto their head i think that's the part that lights up yes that's the area where it lights up too um i'm not too good on getting his helmet on but i want to take an individual look at his helmet because wow just look at the detail on that guys and it's not a cheap plastic. It's a very solid material for the entire figure. Let's see. I, uh, let's see. Oh, wow. We just missed a lot in the chat. Okay. Rip Toys R Us. Yo, what's up, RCTV? Thank you for joining. How are you feeling about school? Uh, mm, fine. Uh, I still can't see them gone. Yeah, it does suck. It came too soon. Yeah, it really did. LOL, LOL. Wow, you guys are saying LOL to that. 
I'm homeschooled, so ha 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 ha, me too, but I don't get that. But, um, anyways, really nice figure. Or his helmet, especially. That's just. And then his vest, he's got little pegs and more room for, um, for other attachments, backpack, um, etc. So that's him. They got lots of attachments. Wait, you are? Yes, sir, I am. Usually I I do a lot of, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. I was like, I was trying to think of something to say while I'm opening this, but nope. Alright, so next is the pilot. This guy's going to be cool because he's not, he's a change. OMG, what? Because, because of what I said. Okay, so this time nothing fell out. Let's just set this down. Okay, this guy, he's got a different uh, camouflage pattern. What the heck? Is this like the, is this not like the Star Wars patch? I, or like, I forgot what it's called. Well, he's got one, two, three, four patches. And now they're just sliding everywhere. That's really cool, actually. And then another stand, and then just general instructions, stuff like that on how to assemble him, how to put the new pieces on him, etc. Here's the figure. Let's just open this. Let's see, okay, here's the attachments right here. We've got uh, four hands, an assault rifle, uh, a pistol, um, uh, is that a, it's an oxygen tank it appears, um, little firing areas to put on the, your gun, uh, knee pads or elbow pads or shoulder, what is this, hold on, I think these are, oh, these might be shoulder pads actually. Um, and his backpack. So as you see there. That is just, these guys are so cool though, guys. And then here's the figure, let's see. It's gonna make us untape it. It's gonna make us take the tape off, guys. Where did I put those scissors? Wait, I know where I put them, but I already got the tape, up, I believe. Alright, let's get these scissors. It's always good to have scissors anytime, especially with keeping reptiles. Scissors are really good because you never know when you're going to need them. Alright, here's the pilot himself. He's got like... Okay, so I'm sorry if it seems weird, but I love the smell of just these fresh toys. It just smells so good, like a fresh plasticky smell, I guess. Let's see. Okay, wow, we're going to have to go over even greater detail of the pilot's helmet because that looks cool. That looks really, really awesome. So, let's see. It says U.S. Army Jones... Because... So that's his little patch. Y'all will have a really hard time seeing. Let's just put his head on because it's weird when he's decapitated. So head on, and also just they're very, they're pretty articulated. Oh, his hand just came off. Let's see. There we go. Uh, they're pretty articulated. Oh, his arm just came off, man. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so they're pretty articulated. Um, his hands. You know, you can do all sorts of positions. Look. He, Ooh, let's see if we, I want to, oh man, his hand came off, hold on, let's see if I can, anyways, let's get on to his other outfit, so here's his, uh, I guess, vest, um, right here, <laughs> death by bad, oh my gosh, what the heck, okay, what's word, RCTV, yo, e, uh, e monster, lol, uh, okay, so, there's his vest, uh, also more areas for attachments, because, you know, you got to keep those attachments on. Whoa, look what I just found. I found one of the backpacks. Where is that? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the backpack. Here, and then I want to go over this, the detail on the helmet. Again, this piece, I believe, because the goggles light up. Yes, they do, right here. But look at this. Look at that, guys. That is just awesome. And this is a really cool helmet. Of course, you know, whoa. Look what I just noticed. Look at that. The visors can change. You can change the visors. Visors. Oh, that's really cool, guys. That is really cool. Yeah, um. Oh, I see how. There's this little, oh, uh, right here. See? So, yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. That's really cool. Uh, This has probably definitely got the most detail on it. I would say you can add the patches on to him and just... These guys are so cool, especially another reason that the little bird might be coming out is because why would you make a pilot and not have something for him to fly? That's just kind of weird. So, um, yeah, that, that's his helmet. Set him off. So, wow, that's pretty much it. Um, we'll continue 
the stream, but in case you're wondering where to look, this is where. Just look that up. Um, figure based Tricky Man. And then it's got all the different, you know, I guess jobs that they do right, right here. Let's see, I'm trying to get it to better lining. Point Man, as you see there. And then the other one says he's a pilot, so that's really cool, guys. Those are really cool. Um, another thing, you know, fifty dollars a figure, I believe. Is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. Although fifty dollars is kind of a lot because, you know, but these are really cool little figures, guys. These are really cool. Gucci would probably love to try to eat one. So, um, and then, you know, there's instructions further how, but if you wanted to put his helmet on, you just kind of push it on here. But I'm not going to get into all that too much because, oh, oh, look at that. His little, okay, so you can clip this on. Let's see, yeah, this clips on. Wow, this is crazy. So, because you know how some pilots can wear their masks to the side. Um, there's his hair just sitting right here. We gave him a good haircut set him off to the side we'll, let's clear off our workspace area over here a little bit and then we'll continue on with the stream let me know if y'all are still here say here or something like that if y'all are still here guys let's see we might feed the dark frogs in the stream too i'm not 100 percent sure what we're gonna do now i'll let y'all ask some questions all right let's see here, here, here. Okay, so that's three people. Alright. Let's move these scissors up out of the way. Real fast. Alright, those of y'all who are still here, thank you for staying. Really appreciate it. Um, ask me some questions or things you might want to see or whatever. I, I hope y'all did y'all enjoy uh those figures? I don't know. Those are pretty cool though. I honestly like them. E Monster, no problem. Uh so, any questions, comments, just go ahead. It's all you guys. It's all you. What the heck? There's all sorts of new filters. Whoa. I don't like these other filters. Uh, how are your pets? Doing good. Doing pretty good. Um, The only losses we had was Mint. I think, I don't know what happened with him. I think he was so small that he could not find any food. Although, I even fed him some of the dart frogs, fruit flies, calcium dust, and everything. Uh, but he was getting real skinny. And, unfortunately, he did not make it. And then the crabs, uh, one had a bad molt, didn't make it. And then the other one, I made the decision. I shouldn't have. Try not to give me too much hate. I bought a crab from Petco. And some of their, some of the crabs have the painted shells right well sometimes the shells are painted and aren't don't completely dry and they put the crab and like uh, with the shell with that shell before the shell can completely dry and the paint ends up sticking their skin and what i think happened was um yeah not all petcos are bad and i completely agree but i'm just saying in general some petcos um but he he went to i believe to either change shells or mold or something i think he ripped off some of his skin on the shell because there was it looked like skin attached to the paint it was really uh it's really sad because so those are the only losses everybody else is doing fine but i'm gonna try not to buy a crab with a painted shell ever again because now i know uh but everyone else is fine um let's see what the chat has to say like if i start be our back not all petcos are bad yeah not all petcos are bad uh we just went over that but um you know, there's one that we like to go to that we have, you know, some, I gotta do homework, okay. What was your first animal you ever got, and can you show the cane toad? First animal I ever got, I've had a lot of animals in my life, unless you mean, like, animal features on my YouTube. Because my first, like, true amphibian slash red pal, if you want to get in that category, was Timothy and Toby. I've had, like, when I was a kid, hermit crabs and, like, a goldfish and maybe a frog, I don't think, so. I don't remember, but... But the main true animals that I truly took care of, so I that with Timothy and Toby, my OGs, man. I had them forever. Um, friends with a lot of people at my Capeco. Same here, same here. You know, it really, it's also boils down to, you know, the managers and the CEOs of the of the Petco business and industry. Not just Petco, Pet Smart, Pet Supermarket, Pet Sense, anything like that. Let's see. Oh, and can you show the cane toad? Okay, we will get Gucci. She's probably going to give us a hard time about it. But, uh, well, well, actually, we might not even have to hold her. We'll see how she acts. 
That's how Pelic. Hello, what is up? Hello, thank you so much for joining the stream. Let's get some hand sanitizer on because we may hold Gucci. I don't know if we're gonna hold her or not, but let's just get her cage open, you know, while we're at it. So we're just gonna flip around the camera here. Okay, there she is. Oh, this is the new hide I picked her up. It was 30 bucks, um, and it's a pretty cool hide. She'll have plenty of room to grow into it. As you can see, she's still pretty, pretty little. I'm glad I made it to the stream. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, I, I had to change out her water bowl, and she's probably going to get it up, get it all dirty anyways. But, you know, that's what you have to do. What's up, uh, T <laughs> Pyro Toad, T Ropode? Um, but, yeah, I do like that new hide. It blends in with her background, and obviously she's really huge compared to her enclosure. And her enclosure is about the size of a 40-gallon. So I might have to upgrade her eventually. We're not I'm not entirely sure, but she might have to get it upgraded eventually when I get some more money for that because she's not cheap. She's not cheap at all. But that's Gucci, my cane toad. Let's see. Haha, -ha, did it wrong. E monster tips hat. <laughs> um let's see, let's just Oh, she's uh buffing up. She does not want my presence to be around. Hey yo. Thank you so much for joining the stream, Infinity Army. What's up? But this toad, she's just a beast, man. She's a beast. She'll eat anything, too, so. Let's just set y'all down real fast. Close her, and close her up real fast. Alright, let's see. Whoa. Let's see. There we go. Any other questions or comments or things you may want me to do? Can you keep American toads in captivity? Of course you can. You can keep any animal in captivity. Whether it's good or not, that varies. Um, I had American toads. Those were my first few kind of, I guess, pets or, you know, or that I actually took care of. I, I took care of those things as best I possibly could. And um, they're an American toads. I ordered them online for some from, like, I think it was, like, Reptile City or Triple O Reptiles. One of those. And it's kind of weird because they're only 12 bucks, But American toads, they're not a very commonly kept pet. Or amphibian or anything like that so they could have been taken out from the wild now if you do know if the person you're possibly about to buy one from does take it from wild I would not suggest buying them because you don't want to take an animal um, uh, from the wild but if you do give it the best possible home you can because you don't want you know an animal that naturally lives out in the wild to just be brought down to this you know tiny enclosure that you know, may or may not be good. You you know, you want it to you want to represent, you know, where it's lit where it naturally lives as best as you can. But my American toads, they did pretty good. They didn't really have much in uh, much information on them. They just kind of said like American toad twelve bucks and that was pretty much it. And so I was like, you know, back then I was a lot younger, so I was like, Oh yes, yes, let me get it and I bought it. And yeah. So I had no clue where they came from. They were already almost adult, if not adults when I got them. I'm pretty sure they were adults when I got them. So yeah. You said my name wrong in a rush, I guess. <laughs> uh, hi Pyroto, I love your reptile expo vids. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah. I went through and changed out some water dishes today. So, but oh, already some of the animals are getting them dirty. I've kept uh, field caught copperheads in the past. I should have kept them, but I personally feel bad taking animals out of the wild and local laws are a contributing factor. Yeah, you don't want to take an animal, especially like copperheads, which copperheads are pretty cool. Um, but unless, only time I I would suggest or feel that it's okay to take an animal from the wild as if it's invasive. Unless it's invasive somewhere else, but you're taking it from its actual natural habitat where it's controlled. So, Gucci... Cane toads are invasive in, you know, Australia and certain parts of Florida. I have no clue where they got her. She, they, there's three main places they could have gotten her. Hawaii, where she's native to. Uh, hopefully, that's not where they got her because I want her to be able to, you know, because cane toads are, you know, naturally controlled where they're native to. But they were taken places where they're not native to, and that's how they're not controlled, and that's how they're invasive. So if they did take her from the wild, which they probably did, I hope they got her from somewhere in maybe Australia or certain parts of Florida. Florida's probably a more plausible option, so, yeah. Because, you know, at least I'm g giving this toad a good home, 
while, you know, it's taken out of the wild and causing less ruckus. Let's see. Uh, I've, let's see. Hey, yo. Hey, Infinity Army. Well, I kept wild skinks, had for one year, then died, and had another for three months, and died. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think. I had a few wild living animals. Oh, my goodness, guys. Was Zeus my little baby? I think Texas Toad. I'm not 100% sure. Or, uh, or, um, or Gulf Coast Toad. Um, I'm not 100% sure because he's so little. Uh, he unfortunately passed away a while back. Y'all know that. Or those of y'all who have been with me for a while. Um, I know a guy that keeps Saint. Okay, I'm probably, I'm, I'm not even going to say the name because I'm going to butcher it, guys. I'm not even going to say it. Pit Vipers and, uh, Mom. Ah, oh, gosh. You know what I'm trying to uh, I had a few stuff off a YouTube died. Uh, I think I know what you're saying. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, everybody else is doing good though. Dart frogs are out. I love these little buggers. Let's see if we can. Ninja Baby Tinctorius Azorius. The tank is just filled. I put this in recently. Um,. They got plenty of places to just hang out off of YouTube. Oh, okay. And lots of plants. Hopefully this this will grow into even more foliage. But uh, right now they're doing good. Speck and Dot. There's Speck and then there's Dot. He's got more prominent Dots and he's got smaller Specks. And then here's Gucci over here getting ready to eat some more things. Okay, so y'all can put some more questions or comments down for me in the chat. I'll be right back. Give me one more second. What did I miss, if anything? Let's see here. Uh, I'm free! Yes! I'm watching The Dark Knight, aka Batman, lol. I don't like keeping pets. I cannot touch dart frogs. Dart, uh, I cannot. I do not like keeping pets. I cannot touch. Dart frogs are beautiful, but not for me. Yeah, um, I hardly ever try to handle my animals. Occasionally, I'll handle, like, the snakes and the geckos occasionally. Um, and the tortoises, I'll, you know, take them out for walks and stuff outside. Um, but things, definitely things like dart frogs and, and smaller frogs, I would not suggest handling that often. Especially because we don't want to hurt them. Would you, would you recommend a Kenyan Sambo as a pet? Heck yeah, I love my Kenyan Sambo Porg. She's, she's doing good. I love her. She's a pretty good pet. Pretty, pretty simple. Oh man. Pretty simple for the most part to maintain. So, definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, well, I love dark frogs. I think you meant to say dart. Dart frogs are so awesome. And I'm, you know, I'm brand new because there's, you know, people who specifically keep dart frogs. And I'm brand new to that part. And these are my first dart frogs I've ever owned. Let's see. Part of his thing is kind of closed. Oh, no. Let me just fix this real fast. There we go. But, yeah, I've never, I want my dream dart frog, I guess, is the strawberry dart frog or the blue jean frog. Those guys are really tiny, I believe those are thumbnail frogs, and, uh, I love those things, yep, now I'm messing up, <laughs> it's alright, um, any other, any other questions, comments, uh, I know one of y'all a while ago said you, uh, if, asked me if, if I could get the crested geckos, um, if you're still here, and if y'all want me to show y'all the crested geckos, or possibly handle one, just let me know, um, they're back here in this enclosure, both of them, but this enclosure is so large um, that I put them together. It's a male and female, so hopefully I'll get some eggs, maybe, out of them. And I can incubate the eggs, and we'll see from there. Pan lover, how's your day been going? Pretty good, pretty good. I had a lot of chores to do, so I'm getting a little bit of a break to talk to you awesome guys. Y'all are so amazing. Y'all really, really are. Um, so, But thank you for asking. Let's see. 
Can you show the Kenyan Sampoa? Yeah, she might be in shed a little bit. Uh, I think she'll be all right. Let me get her real fast. Hi, RCTV. All right, so let me just... Let me, let me see if I can get her out. Because I haven't held her in a while. And, you know, it's one of the main things is bonding with your reptiles or any animal in general. And so... Hand sanitizer. Always, guys. Quick way that I like of, um... Of, you know, being able to handle my multiple animals at the same time. Hand sanitizer, pretty good. Instead of washing your hand each time, and it's less rough on your hand. Let's find her and see if we can... Oh, I see her little head poking out. Yep, there's her little head poking out. And she's actually using her hide for once. Like, she never uses her hide. Of course, okay, she's actually got, like, no shed on her. Pretty much no shed on her. Just a tiny bit. But here she is, poor King and Sanboa. Um... Got to go buy it. Alright. A uh, sup exotic luck. I want a gargoyle gecko. Watch out for it. As you can see, like, it makes a little wristband. Those of y'all who are afraid of snakes, I'm sorry, but. If any army, okay, bye. I want a gargoyle gecko. Yeah, I do want, like, those would be, that'd be pretty cool animals. There's a lot of animals I want, but I'm gonna have to start slowing down. Especially because we are going to Boston in November. And, you know, we gotta find someone to watch all these creatures. But the awesome thing is we're gonna be down there for about a week that's a week of vlogging i'm pretty much gonna be doing i might try to get a video up every single day that week especially because i think around that time we may be hitting three maybe 400 subscribers by then um so we'll definitely be doing some hardcore vlogging there for you guys in boston maybe we'll hit up some uh reptile um stores by by killer sauce Maybe we'll hit up some reptile stores. That would be awesome. We're going to visit all sorts of uh, monuments and memorials. So that should be awesome. But So y'all definitely stay tuned for that. And then also I said if y'all hit 100, 200 subscribers before this Christmas. Which y'all did that way easier than I thought you would. I said I would do a like 18 foot sand boa attacks snowville. Which is my little Christmas village thing that I do. So that I did not forget about that guys. That will happen. But that's going to happen in December when I uh uh when I get to that. You th you have two hundred thirty two, you think you can hit four hundred that fast? Three to four hundred, um November. That's a good if as long as I keep if as long as you know you guys keep up the great work. I'm relying on you guys a lot, guys. Um and I continue to upload more and stuff like that. Maybe. Honestly, y'all are just killing it with the support, so Danger Noodle here, guys, like she's just so scary, isn't she like what is this? This should be the thumbnail. I'm going for 500. 500, yeah, that's a 700. Those will all be, like, every time I, every time I get one subscriber, you know, it's still so awesome just to see that, you know, you guys are still, you know, sometimes the question is like, how did someone care about these videos, you know? Like, there's so many other reptile videos, but I guess it's the fact that everyone has their own individual individual different types of reptiles and personality and you know certain things people like about that e monster i know but y'all just y'all are killing it with the support let's fix her hide back actually okay so we'll just put her lid on you can porg yeah porg was actually porg is the first snake i've ever owned i got her her a few months ago not a few months ago more than a few like a while ago anyways and she was the first snake i've ever had so i'm very i'm very excited about that now i got three snakes uh let's see <coughs> let's see what you guys have to say i want to get big everyone do does i think is what you would say can i show fuego yes i'll get fuego actually that's a good idea let's get fuego out I have to use a stool for these tall racks, guys, because these things are pretty tall, especially if I gotta get these uh, things up here off of his, off of his, the top of his uh, enclosure, because I don't want him to escape. Let's see. Alright, we'll set that down right there. Alright, Fuego. Now we gotta take his actual lid off. Don't bite me, Fuego. Hey, it's just me. Yep, there you go. Fuego still, still acts sometimes kind of weird. 
around me. Let's see. He's gotten bigger. He's just a common corn snake. You know, he's got no special morphs or anything like that as far as I'm aware. Although he's really pretty right there on his box. So here's Fuego. Fuego's a fast little sucker though. He goes all over the place. Oh my goodness. Please no. Oh. So yeah, this guy's he's a pretty fun dude. And where are you going? It's like infinite. I'm slowly scooching him back as he gets closer and closer to the ledge. His colors are awesome. How old is he? Uh, I'm not sure. I got him as a rescue. The people who had him, they bought him at like, you know, Pet Smart or Petco, I believe. And then, um, they took, they had him, and one night he escaped, they lost him over the winter, thought he was dead or gone forever, and then that spring, they're like, oh look, and they're like, and they find him out in their yard, the exact same snake, just in their yard, in their front yard, uh, so, and he was pretty beat up when I got him, his little scale, like, missing scale patches appear to be better, um, and he's in a lot better condition and health than he was before, I believe, and, um, and now he's got heating pad. So I have no clue. An estimate, I'm probably way wrong, but maybe two, three years, if not more. I'm not 100% sure because he was about a little bit small, just a tiny bit smaller than this when I got him. So he's grown a, a good amount, but he's got very pretty colors on him, as you can see. Like He almost has got like the pattern of a copper mouth to a certain extent, just different, like brighter orange, but he's just, he's really pretty. But, um, especially down here, it's really pretty on the bottom, on his belly area. It's really pretty. So, right now he's just, like, created a cool little bracelet. That's actually a really cool bracelet. If he would just stay there, that'd be awesome. Oh, now he's making handcuffs. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Hold on. His colors are awesome. Oh, yeah. I already read that. Oh, my gosh. She's going behind me. Oh my gosh, be careful, please. Thank you for oh, that tickles. Uh, oh my gosh, please, please be careful. I will, he won't hurt. This guy, these guys there, there aren't you, buddy? Aren't you? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, guys. He's so adorable. Let's see, hold on. I need to check this other comment. What's your favorite snake you own? Oh, I can't answer that question. I really do like Houdini, though, because he's just... I know, I do like Houdini a lot. He's got really pretty colors. He's a pastel. But, I don't know. I don't really have an exact favorite, but Houdini. I can kind of answer what my favorite animal is, which, that's Gucci. But, she's, I still like all these other animals. Just, just I don't know, Gucci's just, she's something different. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss, kisses. I'm not going to kiss him. Or am I? Like he makes his big old ravel around my hand. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, you done, Fuego? Let's go inside. I'm gonna put him up now, guys. On to the next questions, comments, and or animals. Let's just put him up. No, you're not escaping. You're not escaping. Don't try this. Don't try me, Fuego. <laughs> go. Go, buddy. Okay, he's slowly unraveling off my hand into his cage. There you go. He's a fast little sucker, too. So, if you want to escape me, he might be able to do so. He's a fast little dude. Let's put his little decorations on so he doesn't escape. Because, yes, he has escaped before. In case you're wondering. Okay. He escaped and he was found in my grandma's room, who's not a big fan of snakes, and she thought he was an electrical cord, and then she realized he started moving on his own and freaked out. She came in here, she, and it was like 3 in the morning, like, fuego, mmm, <gasps> 3 a.m. challenge with fuego, gone wrong, cops called, gone sexual, not clickbait. 
No, um, and he scared the crap out of her, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what do you think is better, corn snake or ball python? <laughs> Depends on the morph of ball python. Uh, normal, not as cool as a corn snake, but a pastel or a pied, then ball python. Isabel Lucas, cancer, ooh. Uh, non, 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 non corn. <laughs> Do not dab again. Wait, what? I didn't hear you quite correctly. My bad. <laughs> um, E Monster, LOL. Who all still here, guys? We, we're hitting the 50 minute mark. Those of y'all are still here, man. Y'all are awesome. The rest of y'all are losers. I'm just kidding. No, I know. I understand. Many of y'all have other things to do. But I'm just kidding. What is he talking about? <laughs> Here, here, okay, cool. Cool, man. Oh, man. So, I think I have, let me count how many animals I have. One, two. Oh, I also forgot my greenback frogs. I had two in there. One just a slightly bit tinier. I'm having a hard time finding him. I think he's still in there, but the only other possibility is I think he got eaten by the other frog. Um, I didn't put a little tiny one this big with the one this big. He was, the uh, one's about this big and the one's about that big. And he could eat them, but that's a big meal to swallow. So I'm still checking on that. Uh, two dart frogs, two the tortoises, um, two Pac-Man frogs, Gucci, two crested geckos, leaf-tailed gecko, um, two snow and desert toads, three snakes, one tomato frog, one leopard gecko, two millipedes, and, uh, two dogs. I think that's it. Let's see. Oh, you just want the views. What? <laughs> As well, Lucas, no. No, I don't want the views. He dabbed again. I'm <laughs> he dabbed again. I'm going to have a seizure. Oh my gosh, guys. Y'all are, are hardcore. Um, Gucci over here, though. She's just eyeballing, guys. And maybe for Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner, I might get Gucci a little bird or something to feed her. What the heck are you on about? What? I'm so confused, guys. Y'all are... I am very confused right now. Can you show the Pac-Man frogs? Um, I'll get... What the heck? I'll get one out, the little one, uh, just because the big one. I don't want to bother him. It's So I'll get the little guy out. Without, hopefully, without him, hopefully, not biting me. And I gotta find him, because I gave him, like, four inches of soil to burrow, burrow in, he's a tiny thing. Let's see, where are you, buddy? Where, oh, where, oh, where's the Pac-Man frog? Where, oh, where, oh, where's the Pac-Man frog? Where, oh, where, oh, where's the Pac-Man frog? Where could he be? And please don't bite me! Where are you? I don't want to get bit by a Pac-Man frog, guys, so I still got to find him, but I got to watch where I'm putting my hands, because I don't want him to bite me. Not one bit. Come on, where are you? I know you're over here somewhere. I gave him, like, five inches of soil, so he's got a lot of burrowing space, and a lot of space to burrow in. Wait, I think we got him. Yep, we got him. All right. Now I got to dust some of the soil off of him, because he doesn't look as pretty with soil on him. All right, I'm gonna set him down right here. Here he is. <laughs> Look at that dirty face, guys. His face is so dirty. He's covered in soil right now. So maybe if we can get some of that soil off me, uh, I can't really do much right now. Um, where's my sprayer? Here's my sprayer. I'll just kind of give him a little bit of a mist off. Watch out, buddy. There we go. Oh man. Okay, let's see. I gotta clean you up. All right, here we go. Don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. Oh, he's jumping at you guys. He just opened the chat. Pineapple, I believe. Uh, yeah. He's a strawberry pineapple. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me just, uh... There he is. This dude is talking about dabbing. So, yeah, he's puffing up. Let's go put him back. But there he is. Pretty. He's very pretty. Uh, so, uh his name's Habanero, in case you're wondering. Uh, slowly but surely he's growing, so let me just spruce him down real fast. And then we'll put his lid on, and I'll rinse my hands off because my hands are all dirty now. And I don't want to touch my phone with these hands. Okay. 
Let me go with my fingers off of that. All right, all right, I'm back. Let me just get this mess up. And we're Gucci. We're Gucci, guys. We're Gucci. Oh, there's some... Oh, man. All right, let's see. What have we missed on the chat? Can you hype? Can you do hype from Fortnite? No, not really. This dude's talking about dabbing. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, any other questions, comments? Have you ever thought of getting a pixie frog? Several times, actually. I actually thought of getting a pixie frog over getting Gucci, but glad I didn't make that mistake. Um, maybe. Maybe in the future. Not right now, just because there's other animals on my list. There's other animals on my list that are personally more important. So, maybe in the future, though. Yeah, oh yeah. But, dark frogs over here, going ham. You little, what about a dumpy tree frog? Um, the whites, yeah, um, uh, um, the Australian dumpy frogs. My mom really likes those, really, really, really likes those. And we've almost bought some, but I personally wanted the milky frogs more because that was another choice between me or getting some stuff for milky frogs and milky frogs. So I, t I chose uh, Milky Frog just because they're a little bit more exotic and a little bit more pretty, personally. Um, but maybe in the future as well. All these animals I've always thought about getting. <laughs> Let's see. What's above your window? Right here is uh, some of my like, frog plush things just for decoration and stuff. Or there's the shelf. So... So yeah, that's what that is. If that's what you're talking about. If you're talking about like this piece right here, that's my blind. It's just pulled up. Eight likes, guys. Holy cow. What the heck? Probably gonna have to end the stream in a few minutes, guys, because we're about to hit the one hour mark. But we can continue with a few more questions or comments. Um, those of y'all are stu still here through an hour of this stream, let me know, guys, because y'all are troopers. Y'all are real troopers. Do you like red paws or amphibians better? Amphibians. Isabel Lucas, what's word with you? Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Everything. You guys are crazy in the chat. Crazy. Crazy. How many, what people have we had on the stream? E Monster, RC. Isabel Lucas, let's see, uh, uh, let's see, Panda Lover, uh, what's his name, uh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm running out of, I'm running out of Exotic Luck, Infinity Army, I guess Killer of Thoughts was here, uh, uh, e, we had a few more people, and also E Monster, Actually, hold on, let's see. Okay. I didn't notice it was blurry. You need help. Okay, guys, chill down in the comment section, guys. Chill down a little bit. Um, any other questions or comments? Let me know before I end the stream, because the stream is going to end in, um, in a little bit. So, Oh, man. How was y'all's day? Dude, are you okay? Are you talking to the, the person you're talking to? I'm trying to help him? Okay. I've left for a couple of minutes. You should get a box trail. They're super cool. Um, yeah, maybe uh, in the future. There's so many other things I want, though, man. You know. Tortoises, like I really wanted those guys so much. 
Uh, oh, speaking of which, speaking of turtle, the other day we were driving, I think it was yesterday or the day before that, um, we were driving and there's a turtle on the road. He's about this, he was pretty good size, about that big. Um, he was a red eared slider, an adult. I didn't check to see what gender or what uh, sex because I had to hurry. Um, and he couldn't get up because you know how some roads have like the like lift, like kind of like the curb, and then it's all like a tree or just grass there, and it kind of splits the roads, the two roads. It was kind of like that, and he, he had to get across. He was trying to get it to the grass, which the grass patch wasn't very much, and he would have had to move eventually because there was just grass, no water, no actual food or anything like that. And so he would have had to move eventually, but he couldn't even get up the curb there. And so we drove back. I got him. I took him, and I took him off to this area so he wouldn't get hit across another road because he had, if he wanted any chance of surviving, he's going to have to cross another road. And there's a, and it's a really busy road. I'm surprised he wasn't hit before. But we got him and took the red eared. He hissed at me a little bit. He didn't uh, try to bite me or anything like that. Usually red ears don't try to do that. And then we, I put him out in this shrubbery area, but I was wearing flip-flops, and I got hit by a thorn or something, or a bit or something, because it hurt. But I was just glad I could get that red eared out of the way, because he was pretty big. He was really big, and I would have that would have sucked if he would have died. Um, IDK, why he was saying you were dabbing. I was dabbing a second ago. Oh, man. But we're about to end the stream, guys. I thank you so much for joining E-Monster as well as his uh, Exotic Luck, uh, Thought Patrol, John Martinez, Panda Lover, uh, Did I say E-Monster? I don't remember. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Hitting that notification squad. If you haven't already hit it, uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Pretty much everything every other YouTuber says. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!